Brenton? Wait till you see what he got. Paul, Stick don't show him yet. We have to wait till we get home. <laughs> Live we'll fish. them all. Some Rasbora. Smash the like button. We will come back and get Mega Mine for the fish building. Never seen that before. Definitely want to do a tank with these inside the fish building. Now you might have just thought, it's over, right? That's everything. No. Oh. What is going on, Kafiros? Welcome back to another video. Just the last video I had uploaded, surprising Brenton with this beautiful arowana. Oh, baby gill. Oh my goodness. I was at this shop right here and I told you guys to smash the like button if you wanted to see me come back and tour the entire thing. It's a massive fish store. So today we're doing just that. I'm gonna walk you around every single aisle, just show you all the fish they've got. And I'm sure later on in this video, we'll be doing a lot more than just this. You know how it goes around here. Stay tuned, let's get to it. Let's start off in this little tiny room right here. It's super, super cool. And like I said, I'm probably not gonna hit every single tank cause there's a lot of tanks, but backwards cap for this. A bunch of angelfish. As you can see, we have a full selection of angel. I'm sorry to scare you guys, I'm sorry. Angelfish, angelfish. More of them here. And then we get into some glowfish action. Down beneath, more angels. Baby angelfish, look how tiny they are. Some ball of sharks. Little rose line sharks right here. Very pretty fish, the great fish. I could tell you, almost every single tank has a bunch of different species in it. So like this is a mixture between obviously the angelfish, we got some tetras in there, of course, look like some molly. And then there's even a gourami in the very back right over there. You can see him. Right there. So each tank has different species inside of it. Like the red eye tetras all in this tank, a whole pot of them. Look at them all. They're everywhere. Some rasbora. So many different species. Of course we have our neon tetras down here. Check this out. Down below we have albino frogs. And not only albino frogs, look at we have some mystery snails in there along with them. How creepy is that? Look at them looking at me. More little fish, little fish, little fish, little fish, little fish. Some more rose lines down here. It's a little bit smaller. And then right out of there we go, we're gonna head over to where there's a lot more action going on. As you can see right here, we're gonna start off strong. This, there's a lot of tanks. And at the end of those tanks, Brenton? That's Brenton. <laughs> we got some silver arowanas up front here. These guys are just so pretty. At my house, we got an albino arowana, which I can't wait to see grow. We did just buy Brenton a massive, silver one of these. We got some peacock bass right here, a whole school of them, look at them all. Megamine? Hey buddy! Megamine? Megamine! No, I haven't yet. This is the tank that we bought the arowana out of, right? Yeah, but Megamine, come look at Megamine. Okay. We'll get back to all of these tanks, we gotta Megamine. see Megamine. Oh my! If I didn't live so far, that would come home with me immediately. Oh my. This place is sick, I wish we had a store like this in Florida. Bro. I'm in Texas, by the way. Look at Megamine! Oh, oh my, my goodness, gosh. that is a beautiful fish right there. Look at the colors. Bro, the camera looks so good in there. It, it, that fish is just, mmm. Ooh. Megamind, oh. you are one hell of a fish. If I could ship you home, I would. As a matter of fact, I probably could. Uh, you probably could do that. If this video hits 25,000 likes in one day, 24 hours to hit 25,000 oh likes, gosh. so 1,000 likes an hour about. Smash the like button, we will come back and get Megamind for the fish building, and we have an empty tank for them too, so oh, we're ready man. for it. Those might be happening. Might happen. You know the power of Yeah, oh, I might have to get them and ship them to you. They're pretty strong. Smash the like button, Kaferos. Do your thing. So we're gonna start back at the entrance where the peacocks were right here. We're gonna start it off with a frontosa. Beautiful, beautiful frontosa right here. The 500 gallon Fly River Pond that we just stocked up with a bunch of cichlids, that would be really cool to have, but a smaller one so that it can grow to that size. I would love to grow it myself to this size right here, but really cool fish. Down beneath is some parrotfish, as you can see. Bunch of parrotfish. I love the personality of these guys. If you just come up to the tank, they all wanna know what's going on. Look, see them all? They're so curious. On this side behind me, African cichlids. A whole lot of African cichlids. Look at them all, so many. So many down beneath. Right here, we got some smaller ones. Some more right here. Some parrotfish mixed in with African cichlids, but the majority of these tanks right here, as you can see, are African cichlids. So this whole section, African cichlids. This side over here, we have some green terrors, some different species of cichlid right there. They got very, very pretty colors. What's down beneath? Oh, Raphael cat. We got one of these actually in our pond, but it's a lot bigger. You can see them hiding in the back. I don't know if I can get a good focus. Every single one of the Raphael are hiding. You can see their tails. Oh, there he is. Focus, camera. 
There's the Raphael. Hopefully my camera did a good enough job. <laughs> That's why I hate this wide angle when it gets close stuff. We got a bunch of silver dollars right here. We got datanoids. They're gonna hide too, yep. We got some datanoids though. Y'all know those fish. Rodrigo used to have a bunch of those, very large. This whole entire side, that was the other cichlids. This whole side is cichlids. I mean the whole entire side. Got some bigger ones right here though. Oh, there's the baby frontosas. There's some smaller frontosa right there. Look how lit up those fins are. I love the colors on them when they're small like that. They're so pretty. Tiger Oscars, we all know the personality of Oscars. Look at this. They're waiting for me to drop some food right now. So, so pretty. Down beneath, we have baby red tails. Feed these little red tails some food for like two months straight, little chunks of tilapia and stuff. They'll be bigger before you know it. Look at them all in there. They love hiding though. They love to hide. It's crazy to see them at that size and then you see the ones in my pond at 3600 gallon. It's just like the biggest difference. It's crazy how large those fish get. If you're purchasing a red tail, always be prepared of how big they possibly can get because they get big. Got some albino Oscars, which we have as well in the 3600 gallon. These are so, so beautiful. Always have been a big fan of Oscars. And right over next to that, we have a bunch of little Paku. You remember the size of the belly Paku? Remember that when we were doing the seining video? <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! There you go. Woo! Look at that. Look at the size of them baby gills. They get large. These things are so, so cool. Red belly Paku, 20 bucks. And there is a bunch of them waiting to go to homes. This is a cool video. I'm like, I'm straight just hanging out talking to you, Gaffaro. It's definitely different than normal. We're walking through this epic fish building, fish store, <laughs> and we're chatting it up. Look right here. We got a bunch of iridescent catfish, which we also have in 3,600 gallon, much larger than this, but these are just so, so pretty as well. I love the glisten. They look like little shiners. Looks like they sell plants here as well. Looks like we got some albino iridescents. This guy, he's just hanging out back there. There's a bigger Paku. Same as the little tiny ones over there you just saw. Now this is a little bit larger. Such a pretty, pretty fish. Now, I can go on and on about these tanks, but to be honest, they have just a bunch of random little fish in them. Like, you got a parrot fish in here with some cichlids. The tank beneath that has a bunch of these very, very cool cichlids. I've never even seen these. I don't even know what they are, honestly. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Well, that's what they are right there. Gobies. Huh. Never seen that before. Around the corner, though. Guppies. More guppies. Little fancy tail guppies if you want to get a little fancy with it. We have our clown loaches. Love these species right here. This is such a, such a cool fish. When you have a community tank, this is a great fish right here to get. I love these things. Definitely want to do a tank with these inside the fish building. Inside my fish building. I do want a clown loach tank. A, a community fish tank in general. That's coming soon. Mollies, a bunch of mollies. Now you know exactly how I feel about mollies and platies. It's where my channel literally began. My parents' backyard, I dug ponds, started making these videos and they just escalated from there and all the videos are pretty much on mollies and platies, breeding mollies and platies, making ponds for them. I have a special love for mollies and platies. Place in my heart for them, you know what I'm saying? And I have some really cool plants for the front pond, the 3600 gallon. It's gonna be loaded with these guys, koi fish and more colorful fish once we do get our predatory fish out of it and into the 5500 that we're working on. Lots of stuff going on, you know? Be on the lookout for some cool stuff with mollies and platies and goldfish and koi fish in the future as well. We have some discus over here which are just so, so pretty. Now a lot of people claim that these are really hard to take care of and that's kind of another reason why I haven't really bumped into the discus world yet. But uh, maybe one day I would love to get some discus. I know a lot of people always comment, get some discus, get some discus. They're really cool fish. I just never got into that yet. Big old angelfish over here right next to them. That's, that's a full grown. Maybe not full grown, but it's big. Those are micro frontosa. We went the opposite way. We went from the biggest one they got to the medium to the smallest. And these are the smallest right here. African cichlids. Look at these big old boys right here. Monsters. Love to see it. Soon my 500 gallon that we just got all the cichlids for will look just like this. Right here. Oh, look at them all. Oh yeah. Now you might have just thought, it's over, right? That's everything. No. Oh. We ain't done, are we? We no. ain't done. No baby gill. No baby gill. <sighs> it's beautiful out oh here. Oh my gosh. What? Lily pads. I love lily pads. Bro, lilies. You gotta get some lilies for your pond. I do, don't I? Yes. They would grow in there, wouldn't they? They would grow. That light, that like, light does would, plants. That would, that would, that, that would, that would, that would, that would, that would oh, boom. Oh, wow. I feel like I have to get those. Darn. It's just, it's just only if your bank account allows you to. Well, it definitely does it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so let's walk away. Because in just a second, I'm gonna show you what Brenton had just bought from this place. You're gonna be 
mind blown. He bought the coolest fish in here. And if it was legal to buy in Florida, I'd own one myself, but we can't. Wait till you see what he got. Stick along. I'll show you right after we finish up in here. Oh my goodness, we thought it was over. No! So last video I showed you guys these as well. We got some big koi fish in here. A lot of this stuff out here is like goldfish, some big goldfish, some baby koi fish. And I think the purpose for having all these out here is because in Texas it does get a little bit colder and these are able to be out in the colder weather. You put an arowana, an oscar or something like that out here, it's gonna freeze to death. Some big old goldfish down there, look at that! That is why they don't want you releasing them in the wild. They'll get big, big, big out in the wild and start eating the native fish species. And that's why FWC don't like when you put goldfish in a pond that has, uh, yeah. Goldfish, goldfish, goldfish and koi. Goldfish, some butterfly kois, some more colorful, colorful fish. Right next to them, some more. I mean, Caferos, I could run you through all these tanks, but you get the gist of it. Goldfish, koi fish, butterfly koi, they pretty much have it all. I really was expecting something crazy. It's just plants. It looks like just plants. Cool, we gave you the full tour. What a spot, super awesome. Thanks for taking me here, man. Absolutely, no that problem, was sir. Absolutely awesome. Glad I, I got to them, share it with you. Shown them the, the big girl yet? No, I haven't shown them what you bought. <gasps> Let's go take a look. Paul, don't show them yet. We have to wait till we get home. <laughs> Live fish. <sighs> Brenton oh. got something insane. The most expensive thing they sold. I guess you just have to wait. It'll only be like three seconds for you. It's about 35, 40 minutes for us. See you in three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah, we already put him in, uh, actually, and, and he's right here. A Giardini! Yeah. My goodness, look at it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It is literally the cooler version of an arowana. It's exactly what it is. That is awesome. Look at the arowana in the background. That's where we got him last video, right there. That is legendary, dude. You have a Giardini. Like, I mean, that that is just, that's fantastic. What do you think, bro? I mean, honestly, the collection in here just, it rose very high. I mean, I think we only need a few more things and then she's topped out. Peacock, red tail. Peacock and red Two tail. Two things like the main predatory thing you don't have. You're lacking. We toured an epic fish store and Brenton spent thousands of dollars on a Giardini. See you in the next one. Peace.